Hello and welcome to my working table. I have been sick as a dog for the last 14 days, so excuse me if I get to sneeze or cough. The good thing is I'm much better and the other good thing is you can't be infected through a video. I just found this old, yeah, I call it Paspatu, but I think it is called a mat in English. Um, it has probably been used or been a part of a framing set and uh, I don't know where the rest of the frame is now. I have probably used it for another purpose. So it got me thinking, can you call two pieces for a series? Well, it's a very small series. But I have decided to try to make two small abstract landscapes for these two holes that is uh, in the mat. Um, my substrate will be these two small pieces I have cut out of watercolor paper, 425 GSM. And uh, I have just measured the, the holes here and make them a little bit bigger. So they are approximately, like, the holes are nine and a half by 14 and a half centimeters. My plan is to use a little collage, some paint and some different pens, inks and pastels. But we will see. I have these papers here. Um, it is tissue paper with black mark, mark making and there are also some daily paper. And I know when I glue them down you would only be able to see the black marks. So I think I will start with that. So I will try to make some smaller pieces I can glue, glue down. They are quite the full length of the piece, but it doesn't matter. And, uh, it is very easy to tell that this is just ordinary tissue paper. If I have used wet strength tissue paper, it is a little more difficult to tear because it tears nicely the one direction, but the other direction it is it has its will of its own, so yeah, I think some, something like this, so, small pieces here, yeah. put them in the bin. <clears throat> um, you can glue them down with matte medium or you can use a glue stick. I, Normally I would use matte medium glue, but here, because of the drying time and that the substrate is white and the tissue also is white, except for the dark, dark black parts, of course, I can use a glue stick. So I will just glue this down here. And I don't mind if there comes a little wrinkles. Um, yeah, so we'll just burn it down. And then we have this piece here. Yeah, it is a whole length. That's that's fine. <coughs> glue that down. So. Don't be precious about the glue. Be a little heavy-handed so you are sure it stays down. Yeah. 
so that was I cut the edges clean here for this one. Okay, I will let them dry for a moment. I also have these small, small pieces here. I think I will glue them down too. one here so I think that is fine then I will take a pencil and make a horizon line or something like that perhaps <clears throat> I can't draw anything that's supposed to look like anything <laughs> so it is my imagination and my loose hand so does this so this is for now and then i will take some paint and i have um, some different ones i have burnt ombre sepia shading gray and paints gray for a start i have um, some leftovers here so i will just Fill in them up here, all the ones. The grey one here. This, this must be enough. You use very little. <coughs> and then I will take my wet brush and I will spray I will start with the sky and I have this mister so I will give him some light light sprays here and start with the blue <clears throat> and as you can see it nearly works like watercolor because I have sprayed the paper so. I can lift a little of it off so it will be a little different and maybe a, some darker lines here yeah <coughs> this is so one and i will do the same to the other one <coughs> spray it a little <coughs> I 
I really like this paint spray. I think it's a little funny name because most of the paint spray paints I know they are more blue than than gray, but it's a lovely blue, I think. Yes, and then I will let it dry for a little, not long. I also have this funny stamp here, and I think I will try to give the pieces a little small marks with it. And I think I will go down here. <coughs> Perhaps a little here. It makes some small dots, not a strong mark, but I think it's fine. Then I will take my spray bottle again, and yeah, it's not quite dry yet, but uh, that's okay. <coughs> and I will take the burnt umbra and go down with that one. Yeah, then I <coughs> it was a little too wet, I can see, so I ruined the tissue paper here, but that doesn't matter. Some of the tree. Yeah. I think it looks nice, so Take my skewer. Yeah. Don't go up here in the oh uh, that was not the smartest thing, but uh, it's okay. So I think I will let it dry properly now. I'll do the same here. <coughs> Just a light spray. Uh, perhaps why it's a little too heavy handed with the water. Again, the light gray mixed with the yeah. a little bit there without <coughs> damaging the. paper yeah I will let them dry I think I will highlight these marks with some tush or ink and I have a dip pen I will use for that so This 
was a good block, this one here. So, yeah, I don't know if we can lift a little bit off. what happened so that was better let the ink dry and now I think yes I have this corn dash uh, different ones maybe we can give it a little extra down some places Maybe a little here. I think they look quite nice. As you can see, even though you can't draw or make something that's supposed to look like a specific thing, it is not that difficult to make an abstract landscape. Um, you, you, I, th I, th I think it is a nice way to work if you want to try to do landscapes so um i have the mat here and we can try to put them inside and i think they look quite nice this mat is really dirty and uh, have been hidden away for a long time so i will paint it with white acrylic paint and let it dry and then I can show you how I will mount these two pieces. So I have just freshened this a little up by painting it white again. Um, so it, it looks a little better than before. So here are the two pieces we, I just made. And uh, earlier today I made two other to try to see if this way of working could be good and um, so they, they are a little uh, like the other tools but uh, they are a little different so um, yeah okay. so yeah and but the I have done it exactly the same way as the ones you saw me make. So here, and this one, and this one. So perhaps it could be interesting to choose one from. So instead of doing this here. I think they look nice together. 
<clears throat> that is an option. No, that doesn't work here. Yeah. I think I, I will choose these two. So the only thing I do is to turn the mat around. So here is the back side. And then I try to be in frame. And then I have some uh, painter's tape. And then I just put the tape here at the top. And I won't put tape on the other three sides because when I put it in a frame, it is better. It is just hanging. Um, but I will have to find a frame somewhere. But uh, for now, I will just this yeah. and this yeah. and turn it around and there you have them I think they turned out quite nice and I have decided two can be a series so give it a try yourself. I hope you like the video and uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be very nice for my little channel. Take care and uh, be creative until we see each other next time. Bye bye.